Board of Supervisors elections. Melissa. Let me just clarify Henrico. Voter turnout was very high in both Henrico and Chesterfield for this election. 61% of registered voters in both localities cast ballots. Now in Chesterfield, there are five members on the Board of Supervisors. Currently, three of them are Republicans and two of them are Democrats. But one of those supervisors, Republican Christopher Winslow, who represents the Clover Hill District, came up short against Democratic challenger Jessica Schneider. As of today, Schneider's lead is 910 votes. Schneider's victory means the Chesterfield board will now have a three to two Democratic majority. Candidates I spoke to and our political analyst, Dr. Bob Hallsworth, said one local issue in particular played a role in Chesterfield. What we see on Board of Supervisor races are these heated local issues that people see. Sometimes, uh, recently, there's been a lot of discussion about what's going on with school and school administration. But when you get to a place like Chesterfield County, people are talking about development. You know, is development too much? Is it unchecked? These are issues that we've seen for a while. Now in Henrico, the Board of Supervisors there also has five members and currently Republicans hold a three to two majority on that board. But according to the Virginia Public Access Project, Democratic candidates were able to flip two of those seats. In Tuckahoe, Democrat Jody Rogish defeated Republican Greg Baca, who was backed by Pat O'Bannon. She is the longtime Republican holder of that seat. And in Three Chop, Democrat Misty Whitehead unseated Republican incumbent Tommy Brannon. Dr. Bob said he believes their victory Victories can be attributed to a combination of the candidate, the issues, and their party identity. He said he believes there is less ticket splitting in this day and age, and there were competitive House and Senate races in these districts. And just a reminder, all results are unofficial right now. We are still waiting on some absentee ballots that could arrive by Monday. As